So we're here at the 4th Avenue Street Fair. Christine met uh, this photographer yesterday, Sean Parker, and it turns out she looked him up and he does all these, what? He was on the cover of Arizona Highways? Yeah, I got February's issue. <laughs> Christine's looking at the magazine because we subscribe. Yeah. I was like, yes. oh my gosh. Okay, awesome. so <laughs> I was out there after I opened it up and I was just like looking at it. Yeah. I didn't know it was you. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. And I looked at it and I looked at it and it was like, oh my god. <laughs> that is freaking unbelievable. Yeah, oh, are you sure you get that? So what else have you, Christine said you did stuff for movies too? Or? Yeah, so I do a lot of time lapse uh, cinematography and I do a lot of like projects with companies and uh, I just recently did a, a film with uh, Keanu Reeves and Jim Carrey. Uh, oh yeah? The Bad Batch, it's on Netflix. I have a 90 second hallucin uh, hallucinating, I don't know what other word is, sorry. I'm nervous. <laughs> Uh, used to be on the other side of the camera, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hallucination scene, it's like 90 seconds long, and it's all stars, and uh, it's on Netflix, check it out. Alright. There you go. Nice. That's all what? Nice. Oh, let's cross over, because I think... Uh, What, Dryland Wilds? <laughs> so they do all, it's all like natural and uh, desert essence, desert plant essence. Look at this, so they, they use the coffee. amber or the... Yeah, the resins Some. and then the blossoms, like wildflower blossoms. What did you get yesterday? You got one of the sprays? Um, yeah, a toner, willow toner. But they've got perfumes, natural perfumes out here. What was that one? It has pine. Uh, That's ponderosa bark. Ponderosa bark. Wow, that is a nice one. That perfume, that formula, for about a year and a half. Wow. Um, the, because when you distill, we use distillation, we use maceration, we use enflorage occasionally, we use tinctures. But it's really hard to get those smells to stick on your skin, especially right. those very yeah, delicate ones. Sense, but it's, 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 so this is the ponderosa. And that's a body spray? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Smash. All right. Okay, I'll talk to you online. All right, hey guys, I was just finishing photographing some jewelry and this lizard startled me. I literally like just screamed at it on accident. I love lizards, so I don't know why I had that reaction. It just startled me that it was sitting there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to catch you and put you outside, huh? So the photograph I got from the show, I didn't get to show you guys yet because I filmed on the second day and I bought this from Sean, uh, Sean Parker on the first day of the the street fair. So that's one of Sean's photographs. I absolutely love this too. I can't wait to frame it. I've got a white Ikea frame out in the living room right now, so I'll go ahead and get that. And then this is the February issue of Arizona Highways, and I loved that picture so much. When I got this in the mail, I was just like looking at all the detail and the color, and I just really liked it a lot. Um, and then once I realized, because uh, I went to his Instagram after I bought that picture on the first day of the show, I went to his Instagram and checked it out, and then I saw this on his Instagram. I was like, what the the heck oh he took that picture oh my gosh so anyway I took that back down the second day and had him autograph it for me so I might frame that too but anyway I love that so okay um let me go ahead and go grab that frame and we'll get that in there okay I just got my laptop out I want to check out his website so he's got a schedule because he does workshops all throughout the year all over the place there's an Iceland one that would be so cool wouldn't that be awesome you guys to go do an Iceland uh, workshop photo workshop. I think that would be so much fun. Go photograph the Aurora Borealis. All right, social media. Okay, let's check out YouTube. Am I logged in? Okay, I'm gonna subscribe. How many videos does he have? Okay, we, we definitely need to get Sean uploading more videos on YouTube. There's some cool time-lapse ones though. I'm gonna post Sean's channel below and if you guys want, you can go tell him to make more videos. <laughs> Okay, we definitely need Sean doing more videos on YouTube and he should vlog, huh? That would be fun to see some of his adventures or we should have him in a vlog. Like let's, yeah, like we should totally collab or something, huh? That would be a blast. Okay guys, so here's the frame I'm using and it's just one of those Ikea, I think it's called the Riga, something like that. It's a little bit larger of a frame, but that's okay. I'm just gonna do like a double mat. So what I did over here was just tape. I just had some black cardstock, so I taped four pieces together and it'll just be another border around the the picture so I'm just gonna lay this down so it's got like that that sort of like thin uh, 
I don't know, plexiglass or whatever in there. So just center that and then take my makeshift mat here out of the black cardstock and lay that over it. All right guys, Sean Parker's Milky Way space art is up and I just used command strips to attach the frame to the wall. And now I've got to get cleaning up this, which I'm still working on, photographing everything. So I'm gonna get back to work and do all that. Good morning guys, I'm getting ready. And you want to see my pet lizard? <laughs> it's down there in the sun. Look at it. Um, so it's been in here since yesterday. I tried to let it out this morning. It was by the door, the back door here. And um, yeah, sorry, I've got like camera here and stuff all over the place, but I tried to let it out and the sun was coming in, but it was freezing this morning and it did not want to go out. Like literally it just had to walk like a foot to get out the door and it didn't want to go out. Instead, I have like this little fuzzy makeup bag. It, you know, after about five minutes, it got cold and ran under the bag and hid under there and then all of a sudden I look behind me and it's sitting in the sun back here oh my gosh so cute I am gonna make you go outside but I'll let you sit in here for a little bit longer okay now it's laying out in the bedroom in the sun I can't have you running around in the house yeah no come back here I can't have anything smaller than a guinea pig running in the house it's just too dangerous for you Oh, shoot, now it's under the heater. So I'm cleaning all this stuff behind here. Uh, and I'm photographing again today too. I couldn't finish filming yesterday because I was just like photographing until nighttime. Um, so anyway, I was gonna show you these two that I got. This is from Dryland Wilds. It was that other um, booth that we stopped at. It had some really, really nice scents, like natural desert essence scents. Um, so this one is the, the fragrance, Ponderosa Desert Spray. They had all different kinds though, but that one was one of my favorites because it was made with the resin. It has a little bit of kind of like vanilla essence to it. And uh, the willow toner um, for your skin, for your face. So the willow plant water is made with the willow bark. Oh, there's their website, drylandwilds.com. So yeah, I'm gonna order some more from them because I really like that toner a lot and this fragrance, it's so good. The lizard made it outside. I just put it out a little while ago. You guys know how I mentioned these uh, Belega socks uh, in a previous video. These, um, they're like super cushy on the bottom and seamless and really comfortable. Um, so I really like those a lot. They're a little bit pricey, but after I did that video, a company contacted me MD Bamboo Socks. They sent me actually a package of socks and I'm always interested in trying out, you know, like anything, any kind of fitness, uh, you know, comfortable fitness gear. And so including socks, I was like, oh sure, I'll check out your bamboo socks. And they're actually really nice and they're a lot more affordable too. So yeah, these have been pretty good. I actually am really happy with how the bamboo performs. It's like, you know, they're nice and vented on the top. They have that seamless smooth feel so you don't have anything rubbing on your toes. And they have like that little bit of just like very slight kind of padded feel on the bottom. Just like super, super lightweight though. They're MD Unisex Premium Bamboo Socks uh, with the moisture wicking and antibacterial. I think the low cut, low cut and no show are my favorite, but um, definitely the low cuts. I really like those a lot. So in case any of you guys are interested in bamboo fitness socks, those are the ones, but I'll post the links to them below. All right guys, I haven't got to show you what I got at the gym show yet, but I figure I would do that in a separate video. I'm just kind of going through everything right now, just opening up all the flats and kind of organizing everything, getting them ready to be photographed. I have to photograph all of these pieces, so none of the this is on the website yet, but I've got tons and tons of crystals of all kinds. So I've got points, Tibetan double terminated points, Madagascan rose quartz, which is the really glassy, super high quality. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then, you know, I've got more crystals in the bedroom too on my shelves. So I've got tons of quartz crystals and quartz points. Um, all of this, this is all South African uh, spirit quartz, also known as cactus quartz. These are absolutely gorgeous. Those are always, like those always do really well. The only thing that's on the website right now of all of this are the pendants. So I've got these moonstone pendants that are on there and then also the morganite, which is really beautiful too. I've got, um, you know, turquoise under there. Oh, all the boulder opal. Look at that ammonite too, the colors on there. Crazy, huh? Like, look at that. Those are really, those are really hard to find. The, the really colorful rainbow ones, and they would cost uh, quite a bit more too. But um, whenever I come across them, I got a couple of little ones too. Normally, you see the regular ones that are just more just plain brown. Got some rhodochrosite. Um, oh yeah, the tangerine quartz. Love the tangerine quartz. 
the rings, um, about half of these are on the website right now. So yeah, so I think I have like all of the Laramar on there and some of the, the rough moonstone, which is super pretty. It's really hard to find the rough raw moonstone pieces on oh, these little tiny moonstone rings. Oh, and I've got one um, pink tourmaline ring there. It's these are all hammered silver from Bali. Also the geode spheres with the stands. All right guys, water some plants with me. I've gotta water these poor babies. They've been inside and well, I had to bring them in because, well, some of them stay outside usually, but I had to bring them all in because it was getting so cold. It was like 34 degrees last night. And um, yeah, the adeniums, they don't like that. Like, oops, <laughs> just threw my water. Adeniums go into dormancy. So see how that thing is completely naked now? It lost all its leaves. Same with my little baby. Look at that sad little thing. It has like one old little leaf. Oop, there it went. <laughs> Poor thing, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's all naked. This one here is also adenium, but it's a Socotranum, so it's a different variety. Cute little palm tree style though. This one's been good. It hasn't lost any leaves. I don't know if it does actually. Um, it, like they seem to be doing really well still, but it does need water because I went to pick it up and it was like super light. So uh, this pumice stone, it dries out really quick, you know, anyway. Okay, Socotranum's turn. We call this one scrotum for short, just because it's easier to remember. This was a really nice euphorbia, but it broke in the wind not too long ago. Um, so it's sealed up, as you can see the brakes on it. So it, had, it was pretty tall. It was like, I don't know, probably about three feet tall but it snapped in the wind. I had it sitting out here and it got too windy for it. But yeah, it healed up. You can see where it broke on those four points, uh, but it's already putting out new new growth there, so it'll do fine. Um, this adenium though, it started growing new little leaves after it lost all of its other leaves. So it's like it started to go into dormancy and then all of a sudden it perked back up again. So I'm not sure what that's about, but I am gonna go ahead and add a little bit of fertilizer to its water. Uh, which I already did and I'll, well I'll show you I have the fertilizer out here what kind I use here's what I use this VF11 Eleanor's VF11 so I just add a splash and then just fill up your watering can and go for it this cactus definitely needs some water I love using these pumice stone planters though I think they're so cool it, I originally got them to have inside the house but it, as it turns out you know I ended up planting outdoor plants in them, but they'd be super cool to have inside with something, don't you think? Yeah, I really like having like rugged, earthy, natural stuff inside the house. I like that contrast. I love this ghost euphorbia so much. That thing is like my baby. I got it at a farmer's market here in Tucson and it like immediately when I was walking past their tent, it caught my eye and I was just like, that, that needs to come home with me. Uh, it's such a unique one too. I haven't even seen one like that. Like that's the first time I've ever come in contact with one of those. Hey guys, we're at Tamerico right now having some soup. They always have complimentary soup with all their meals, which is really nice. Nice hot soup on a chilly day. Okay, we're sitting inside now. Too cold outside. Take these two. We came up to Mount Lemmon and we just pulled down this one road because I wanted to get some granite. So I've got my shovel over here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna get some top dressing for my plants at home because this granite is just beautiful. It's like, I love the white, the pop of the white. So let's see, I'm looking for just, you know, all different sizes pretty much. But I, I just like to dig around in the rocks and just find, you know, some interesting pieces to take home with me. Oh, I like this gray one. Smooth. Yeah, I've always just really enjoyed being outside, you know, digging for rocks and looking for interesting stones and stuff. So this is like my my happy, peaceful, like meditation world up here just to be out here and you can hear the wind in the trees. It's nice. It's like a little pool of mica in there. Yeah. 
I saw a couple pieces. There was one in this big boulder up there. It was like that big strip of it. We, I think we gotta head back down. I'm starving. Ooh, there's some neat manzanita here. That one. All kinds of things you could use for home decor projects out here. Govindas. We haven't been to Govindas for a really long time. All right, one last stop before we head out. Right at the entrance of the road. This is where I got some a couple years ago. There is snow on the ground, but it's actually pretty comfortable. It's not bad at all up here. Yeah, it's not too cold though. Just kind of scrape the surface and just get, you know, so you don't get the sand, you just get the pebbles. Yeah. I think that should be good. All right. 